and welcome to the Georgia Department of Early Care and Learning's Quality Rated Nutrition Video Series. These videos are brought to you by the Georgia Department of Early Care and Learning, Dole Packaged Foods, and Healthy Kids Georgia. My name is Jennifer Papaduke, and I am the Nutrition Project Manager at the department. First off, I would like to thank you for being here with us today. Your interest in this presentation highlights your dedication to the health and well-being of the children entrusted in your care. As we all know, childhood obesity is a major health concern. Current statistics show that about 11 million children under age 5 in the United States are in some form of childcare each week, and about 60% of infants and children up to age 5 spend an average of 35 hours per week in a childcare setting. These numbers tell us that children not only spend a majority of their meals in childcare, but a majority of their waking hours, leaving childcare facilities as an optimal location to target children's health. Our focus today is going to be around creating healthy snacks in the childcare setting. We are excited to have some fun and share two easy healthy snacks that you can prepare for children in your childcare facility. We have a very special treat for everyone today. The commissioners are going to show us how to prepare an easy healthy snack that the children in your care will actually enjoy by competing in a commissioner cook-off. The recipes are CACFP friendly and are in portion sizes large enough for your three to five year olds. After both commissioners show you how to make these snacks, we have an expert judging panel to choose who made the better treat. Now I'd like to introduce our first celebrity chef from the Department of Early Care and Learning. I have Commissioner Amy Jacobs. Welcome. Thank you. Now let's get cooking. Commissioner Jacobs, can you please tell us what we'll be preparing today? Absolutely. Today I am preparing pineapple fruit fries with whole wheat pita wedges and strawberry ketchup. So to start the prep, we're going to move to the pineapple. And the first thing you need to do is twist off the top, which you can later wash, dry, and actually replant in your yard to grow your own pineapple. That's really cool. Did you know that from a nutrition standpoint, um, pineapple is really high in vitamin C? So for children, that's great for their immune health. Absolutely. Next with the pineapple, you will cut off the peel, just following the form of the pineapple to get to the actual core. And then you can begin slicing this into the shape of pineapple fries, which will look like this. Next, we're gonna do a pan saute where you'll add as many as will fit in your pan to get a little caramelization and browning in about 30 seconds to 45 seconds per side. Um, once that time has passed, you will flip them over and you'll get a nice natural sweetness from the pineapple and you will have something that looks like this. That looks delicious. I think so too. <laughs> so let's make the strawberry banana ketchup. So first, obviously we need strawberries. So you'll just add those to your food processor. Our strawberries are also very high in vitamin C, again, um, for that immune system. But vitamin C is also important for heart health. Absolutely. And then you'll add bananas for your banana part of the ketchup. Our bananas are gonna be high in potassium again, and that potassium is great for heart health. Um, bananas are also very high in fiber. Um, and the fiber is great for um, digestive health. And then you have a small amount of balsamic vinegar for taste and just a small amount of sugar. Yeah, we do want to watch children's <laughs> sugar consumption. So not too much sugar there, but just add a little sweetness in, in case it's not strawberry season. Then you will pulse this until it's smooth. And it might take it 30 to 45 seconds until you have a ketchup consistency. Let's see, let's just scrape down the sides quickly and do one more pulse for the ketchup. Okay, I think that looks good. That'll be great for dipping. So then you can just add the ketchup to your bowl. Do you want me to take this off? Yeah. Watch the blade, yeah. Let's see if I can. You pour that and right pour in. Pour it right in. Oh, that looks great. Oh, that looks delicious. And there you have your dipping sauce for your pineapple fries. Celebrity chef, 
Today from the Department of Public Health, we have Commissioner Brenda Fitzgerald. Thank you so much for being with us today, Commissioner. I'm delighted, thank you for having me. Would you share with our audience what we're gonna be making today? Absolutely. I'm gonna do a snack that'll make you strong, inspired by Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we start with two cups of Dole pineapple orange juice. Now the important things about this juice is absolutely no added sugar, so that's very important for children. Yeah, our kids definitely don't need any added sugar. Absolutely not. And then we're gonna add two cups of uh, spinach. Spinach is a superfood. Uh, it is high in iron, it is high in calcium, it's high in fiber and high in antioxidants. It's a wonderful food. Absolutely, especially high in calcium. We know, you know, kids aren't always getting enough dairy, so getting a, a super vegetable like this in there um, will really help them. Absolutely. And so first you blend it, and you blend it first because you want to get the spinach all chopped up so the children will only recognize it as ooze, not necessarily spinach. <laughs> Good. And then we want to add two cups of dull frozen pineapple chunks. Having that already frozen is nice because it'll make the smoothie nice and cold yes. without having to add any extra ice or anything. Absolutely. And then two chopped bananas. And bananas, of course, are very high in potassium and also very good for you. Mm -hmm. So we'll blend this all together until it's nice and smooth. And there you have it, perfect cooking. Excellent. <laughs> Let's pour that out and see what it looks like. All right. And the serving size is half a cup. And there you go. Wonderful, that looks excellent. Thank you so much for bringing this in today and making this recipe. I think we just need to clean everything up and we will bring in our celebrity judges to do a taste test between you and Commissioner Jacobs. Ooh. <laughs> Our special celebrity judges. We have Grant, Tatiana, and Dexter to taste our treats today. First, we have our Ninja Turtle Ooze. Um, so that this is CACFP reimbursable, make sure you serve half of a cup of the ooze for your children, as well as an additional component, such as whole wheat crackers or string cheese, as we have shown here. Our second snack, our pineapple fruit fries. You want to serve about a half a cup of pineapple per serving, as well as uh, about a half a pita to make this CACFP reimbursable. And here we have our, that whole wheat pita. Um, so, are you guys ready to try these snacks? Yay! <laughs> Great, you can try it, okay? Everyone start tasting. Remember, for additional information regarding health and nutrition for young children, check out decal.ga.gov. Under our nutrition tab, you will find a child mm. health and wellness button. This page will provide you with information about healthy initiatives happening at DECAL, as well as great resources to improve the nutrition and physical activity environment of your facility. Did everyone try? I, no one's tried their pineapple. I'm gonna try it then. Mm. Try your own. Try it. I'm just gonna try it without that. Go ahead. It's delicious. Mmm, it's pretty Gross. good too, isn't it? <laughs> so, who's the winner? Which one do we like? Do we like the pineapple with the strawberry banana ketchup? Or do we like the Ninja Turtle ooze? I like all the of it. Ooze. You like all of it? I like all of it. You like all of it? All of it. All of it. So do I we not have a winner? I think we have two winners here today. Congratulations, Commissioner Fitzgerald, <laughs> Commissioner <Congratulations>. Jacobs. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well, we hope you've enjoyed watching this presentation and that we gave you some unique ideas for quick and healthy recipes to introduce to your, the children in your care. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next time.